Hi there, future me. How are you? I'm not quite sure how to start this conversation. It's a little different from all the other ones I've ever had before. For the record, I'm going to refer to you as you and me as me because I just don't know what kind of changes I'm going to endure over the next four years. Recently, I watched somebody record a video like this one and they mentioned something along the lines of how that the me that you're seeing now doesn't exist anymore. That the me that you're seeing here doesn't exist anywhere except solely in this recording. And I thought about that and I'm honestly not sure how I feel about it. First off, congratulations on graduating college. I knew you could do it. It's honestly crazy to think that in four years when I'm watching this video again, I'll be turning 22 years old. I mean, at 22, you can kind of sort of do whatever you want. What's that like? I recognize that the age gap between us contains the years where I'll probably develop and mature the most. So I promise to capitalize on that. I just need to be smart. I need to remember that I can't do everything. Um, but before I continue, I have a few questions I'd like to ask. They're in no particular order, but I lay them out for you. What's the year 2028 like? What's the latest technological advancement? How much is AI incorporated in our lives? Do you have a car? What kind? Color? Cool. Did you join any cool clubs? Did you try it for the basketball team like you promised? Do you still take cold showers or is that just a phase? Is Josie still around? How are the cats? Does Noble still follow you around everywhere? How many films have you made? Do you still talk to all your friends back home? I hope so. When's the last time you saw them? Did you start journaling again? Who's your favorite music artist right now? Mine is 100% Grant Perez. And uh, my favorite song, I mean, I did recently just see that Twisters movie, so Out of Oklahoma has been stuck in my head nonstop. When's the last time you cried? What are three things that you loved about today? What's the last movie you watched? Book you read? Ice cream you had? Knew it. Okay, I'm running out of things to say. Congratulations on taking photos of that 76ers game, uh, or Eagles game, or both. I'm quietly speaking that into existence right now, so. But I do also hope that you enjoyed your road trip out west. I know how badly you want to see all those parks, and uh, I, I really hope you had fun and that you got to go on it, and that you didn't get too scared when you went cliff jumping for the first time. But I am going to stop listing things that haven't happened yet. That's enough stress for the future already. Instead, I'd like to take some time to talk to you about myself and where I'm at in life right now. Just give you a taste of what it's like to be in the shoes of your 17-year-old self. Right now, I'm currently still living in Camp Hill, and I have four days until I leave for college. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really, really excited. Uh, my room, however, has been completely taken over by boxes and bags. It has not been fun to live through, and I know that if you had to go through it again right now, you would just be so annoyed. <laughs> About a week ago, we came back from our annual trip to Lake Wallapapak, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, we went antique shopping, I cooked for everybody, we played card games, we went swimming. It was, it was just a whole lot of fun. And I really hope that we get to do it again. Um, this is our third time going now, and I would really miss it if we lose it. I'm feeling okay, though. Um, that's all I can really be right now. I'm at this point in my life where I'm ready to embark on a new chapter. However, I'm still trying to hold on to things that I still have. Um, and while I don't need to let them go, I'm just trying to figure out a way that I can take them with me. There are friends that I've had for over a decade that I'm just simply not ready to say goodbye to yet. And understanding how big of a role friends play in people's lives, I guess I'm just hoping to find more of the right people. Uh, this past year has been very eye-opening for me. I felt more in touch with my emotions, both happy and sad. And 
it was honestly surprising how quickly I think I changed. I mean, just about a year and a half ago, there were things that I couldn't do or say at all. And look at me now. Uh, something else that I've come to realize over the past few months that I hope you have a better grasp on is how valuable my time is. It's. I know that when you find a project that you really like, you tend to just fixate on it and make it better and better, spend hours working on this, adding new bits of creativity, adding your own personal flair, whatever it is you do, you kind of get stuck. And it's great to work on these things. But I want you to realize how important time is, more specifically, your time. You give so much of your time to others and these projects that you work on, but I fear that sometimes... I don't give myself enough time for myself. So so I'm talking to you now, um, just reminding you, take some time for yourself. Take some time to walk, stay in the gym a bit longer, read more, do whatever it is that you want to do that helps you just relax. Because it can be hard to continue when you find yourself working so much. Four years from now, I have no clue where I'll be. I don't even have an idea of what I'll be doing one year from now. There's so much of my life that's ahead of me, and I have just no clue how it's going to go. I hope that the paths that you take in life help me become someone that I can be proud of. I hope that you're happy. I hope that you continue to love. I hope that you're just as silly and dumb as I am right now and that you always continue to laugh. I dream of a world where you've surrounded yourself with the people and the things that make you better as a person. I know that with moving to a big city in four days, my thoughts are a bit scrambled, but I'm hoping that by now you have a lot more of it figured out than I do. Nothing has to be perfect. Nothing ever will be perfect. Just, you know, hopefully a little bit more. (laughs) Uh, yeah, but I think I'm going to call it there. There's not much else that I have to say, just that I hope that you're proud of who you are. I hope that you're proud of who you've become. Um, I ask you to please take care of yourself, and I'll, I'll see you soon.